A piece of four-wheel drive recovery equipment that's become extremely popular in recent years are the Max Tracks. Max Tracks are an Australian design and manufactured piece of kit. They're an evolution of the traction mats that guys have been using when they go off-road for generations. They're lightweight, easy to carry in your vehicle, easy to operate, easy to use, but there is a right way and a wrong way to use them. We've got the Land Rover bog here, so we're going to show you the right way to use Max Tracks. Now, you see we've got stuck going up the hill here, but the easiest way for us to get out is going to be to go backwards. To do that, we're going to have to clear all this sand out from behind the wheel. And Max Tracks have been designed with a bit of a scoop, almost a shovel in the back of the, the track itself. So you can use it as a shovel, which um, once you've got it down off the roof or wherever you carry it in the car, don't need to go and get anything else. So, relatively easy. Get in there and dig out sand, mud, snow, whatever it is you got in there that's stopping your vehicle from getting out. You really want to get the, the nose of the max track right down under the edge of the tyre, so just get under there and drag it out from underneath the, the edge. Once you've got that space under the tyre there, you really want to get these teeth, which are the, the key part of the max tracks, right under the, under the edge of the tyre, so that when you do go to drive out, they can get, get a bite on there and keep some angle up on the track because you want to pull the car up off the obstacle, make it pop up out of the sand. Yeah, you want to get those that under there as far as possible so that the tyre can get onto these teeth. The, the motion of the tyre will actually pull the max track down a bit, get under there and you can crawl up with as limited amount of wheel spin as possible. You really don't want any wheel spin when you're using these things. Max tracks come with these telltale leashes that when you're in really soft sand or mud or snow, after you use them, the track itself can often get buried. These, throw them out to the side, they won't get buried, you can find your track afterwards and yank it out of the mud. Depending on how stuck you are and where your wheels are dug in, you might want four Max tracks, one under each tyre, or just two as we're using here. Once you've got your track set underneath the tyres, clear everyone away from the car, make sure there's no one behind you, we're going out backwards here. So get in, seatbelt on, fire the car up. You want as little wheel spin as possible. Preferably no wheel spin at all when you're driving out on the tracks. So low range to keep the revs down. Select low range. And we're going out backwards, reverse gear. Okay, we've reversed the car out of the bog, but we've still got to turn the car up the hill to get out of here, and we don't want to get stuck again. So another great use for the Max Tracks, the tyres aren't bogged, but we'll just stick them in there under the tyre to start with. Just lay them down flat, give yourself a bit of road, a bit of grip to drive on out of there on. You can see the Max Tracks have been driven into the sand by the wheels driving off them. Sometimes they go right under, they'll be totally buried. That's where your leash comes in handy. Should be sticking out the top, allows you to come down, find your Max Tracks. Grab a good firm hold of the handles, give it a wriggle, and pull it out towards you. Easy retrieval. Okay, the Max Tracks have got us out of the sandy bog that we were stuck in. And you can see by having a look at the face of it here, all those little teeth are still intact. That's because we use low range, minimal revs, minimal throttle, and just allowed it to crawl onto the track and then accelerate up as we had grip. Some people criticise the Max Tracks because they go too hard at them. They burn the, track, burn the tracks with their wheel spin. It just takes those little teeth off. But the teeth are made soft for a reason. If they were any harder, they'd rip your tyre apart. So what do you want? Break your Max Tracks or rip your tyre up? This way you get out, you get out safely. And it's much safer and easier than using a winch or a snatch strap. <music> 